<laughs> he did the Trump dance. Ah, he did the Trump dance. Shazam to you people. Holy smokes. America is back. I have never, and I'm saying never been this excited, maybe since middle school, since the 80s, I haven't been this excited about the future of our country. Today is going to be a weekend roundup. The, the weekend, in, in case you missed it, I've got you. I'm going to walk you through what happened this weekend, as well as, uh, stay with me, I've got a bunch of memes at the end to help your week get started outright. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let me know what your favorite is and how you feel. Are you as excited as I am? Here we go. Did y'all see the walkout? Even if you're not a UFC fan, you've got to pay attention to what happened on Saturday night. They walked out, and Joe Rogan said that Madison Square Garden, blue Madison Square Garden, was so loud. He said it was deafening. He'd never heard a stadium that loud. Plus, I just freaking love that number 47 is walking out with a rock star in a fuzzy coat. Even if you don't like Kid Rock, I love the mojo. And the photos that came out this week have been, I mean, this weekend were fantastic. Check this out. It's from Donald Trump Jr. Just in the elevator riding up. Check out that elevator. The Trump man, Elon Fuzzy Jacket, Donald Jr., and Tulsi back there, and some losers in there also, but golly, this is what we needed. Now, if you would have asked me 20 years ago, do I want the president to run around with a rock star? I was like, I don't know. Be presidential. We're at the point now we have to make conservatism cool again, and uh, I think it's happening. I think it's happening. Next, every single person in this picture used to be a Democrat. Total realignment. And somebody hit me today and they said, well, does that mean they're all Republicans now? I said, no, they're, they're conservatives. And, and you've got to be a, you've got to, you've got to run as a Republican if you're a conservative. And I think they're understanding they've got to save this country because we were headed down the pooper. Next, front row right there, Donald Jr. also, he's in there with uh, some, some of the Avengers. Trump is assembling the Avengers team. I love it. Next. All right. Did you all see Jim Miller afterwards? I'm not going to play the audio because, uh, because I'll get popped by YouTube. But Jim Miller, after his victory, he took the opportunity with his interview with Joe Rogan, instead of talking about his own fighting, he talked about Peanut the Squirrel and said, we need justice for Peanut. And then he also said, we need to uh, contract government and hopefully Doge would handle that. I, I love it. I love it. Dad sent me this a few minutes ago. It's from Newsweek over the weekend. Supreme Court justices discuss Peanut the Squirrel's death, and it's made that big of a wave. I've said on here for two weeks now that peanut pushed us over the edge on some level, on some level. I think, I think so. Next, Benny says this, Benny said this, and if you didn't see it, I'll show it to you in a minute, but uh, John Jones handed Trump his belt and uh, handed him his belt after he won. I freaking love it. You got RFK Jr. back there. You got Tulsi clapping, freaking in love with this. I'm telling you all weekend, I have had chills since Saturday night. I cannot express how excited I am about the future. Yeah, a year from now, I may be pissed off and mad. I don't know. But today, Satan, I'm not allowing those thoughts in. I'm telling you, I am pumped. Check this out from Benny Johnson. This is the single greatest photo of the new Trump era in America. Beaming with optimism, political unifier, champion energy, uplifting everyone around, total cultural domination, looking forward to the future. American flag shotgun guy go. Get some. Today's big energy is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. Y'all know I love talking about being prepared in case the worst ever happens and Patriot Supply can help you get ready. Hey, right now, you can get ready too with a three-month emergency food kit from My Patriot Supply. It comes with delicious foods like creamy stroganoff, honey wheat bread, and mushroom rice, rice pilaf. <laughs> the entire kit offers over 2,000 calories every day. The food kit lasts up to 25 years. Who knows what the country's going to look like 25 years from now, but they can help you be ready. All right, you're going to love this URL. Go to preparewithjohnnyb.com now to order your three-month emergency food kit from My Patriot Supply. Preparewithjohnnyb.com. Big thank you to the folks at My Patriot Supply. Preparewithjohnnyb.com. You people, thanks for every thumbs up. Love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Thanks for checking your subscription. Thank you to my friend Chip. He's a faithful viewer to the channel, and he made that for me and, and hooked me up with it the other day. It's 3D printed. Don't tread on me. 
Peanut. Love that guy. All right, here we go. The fun continues next. Did y'all see this photo? This hit over the weekend. They're flying to the UFC fight. I love that. And, of course, it went viral immediately next. Tim Young says, a great photo of the team that's going to fix America. <laughs> and Mike Johnson. Oh, that's cold. That's cold, Tim Young. Next, Geiger Capital says, making the new gang member do drugs to make sure he's not an undercover cop. And the internet went nuts seeing RFK Jr. eating eating McDonald's. Trump likes McDonald's, and if you're going to hang up with Trump, you're going to eat McDonald's. Check out, check out RFK Jr.'s face. I love it. Next, Pericles says, father taking his autistic son to McDonald's for a treat. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I love it. All right, I talked about it just a minute ago. I can't play the audio once again. But when John Jones won, and he won decisively, even if you don't care, this is big and the world is watching. Yep, what did he do? John Jones threw down the Trump, jumped the fence, went down, shook Trump's hand. I, I mean, I love this so much. Even the NFL were doing the Trump dance over the weekend. A lot of uh, the NCAA football players were. People are paying attention. And then, check this out. John Jones hands over his UFC championship belt to Trump. You may say, okay, that's dumb or that's bread and stuff. I don't know. I think it matters. I think this stuff matters. Just like we talked about the other day that... People say that memes don't matter, but but Elon's peanut memes two weekends ago, three weekends ago, were, were pulling 20 million clicks per. That matters, y'all. That matters. There is a blending of pop culture and reality in the real world and the online world. People are paying attention, and it turns the needle. Check out this face. I, I love it. Full of optimism. Taking over the culture. I love it. One more, and then we're changing topics. Next, Autism Capital says this, don't let your dreams become memes. Mm. Get some. All right, the other topic was the fight on Friday night. 12 seconds later. All right, I got to start again. I went too far down the pathway of fussing about Netflix and fixed fights. All I'm going to say is this, is the world was watching Friday night also. Massive transference of wealth. I think the whole thing was a scam. That's all I'm going to say. I, I had to refilm because that's all I'm going to say. But we did get some good memes out of it. Did y'all see uh, Mike Tyson show his rear end to the world? Like literally? Here's a meme. Next. He protect. He attack. But most importantly, he show us the booty crack. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Next. Uh, <laughs> there's Mike Tyson's butt. Corporate needs to find you the difference between this, the differences between this picture and this picture. Uh, <laughs> they're the same picture. Ah. Geico Camel, go! Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> woo, woo! All right, next. Uh, Jake, you're, you're fighting senior citizens? We're all the same skill level, Jerry. We're all the same skill level. Are, are we? Next. <laughs> I got them Mike Tyson Christmas cookies for sale. Hit me up. Uh, Randolph, go! All right, final thought from the weekend roundup, and then we're going to go through the memes. I, I know we just did a bunch of memes, but the memes proper. Um, I, I said this last week, and I also said it over on the Warrior Poet Network. I think Robert F. Kennedy Jr. coming after fluoridated water and all the red dyes, the yellow dyes, and the nonsense like brominated vegetable oil that we put into our foods and the seed oils that we – it's just all of that stuff. And shoving high fructose corn syrup down our children's faces, I think it's – Fabulous that we have a potential world leader. We'll see if the inauguration happens. We'll see. I, I'm, I am trusting that it's going to be a great season. I'm trusting. But I think it's also great that the world we have a world leader that is talking about doing better instead of allowing anything. The last four years have been nothing but what do we allow? We've got diversity. We've got, we've got screeching little boys pretending to be girls in the White House. And that me last Christmas, that mega gay Christmas production that they did that I felt was an abomination against what Christmas is actually about. And I, I think we're now moving to a time where they're saying, hey, let's do better. Finally, I thought that the uh, the Miss Universe win was a, was a win uh, over the weekend. Over the last couple years, the, the DEI and the wokeness and all the nonsense has had little boys pretending to be girls winning beauty pageants. Not this year, Sugar. Not this year. She looks great. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's a step in the right direction. What say y'all? What say y'all? Meme time. Here we go. Bunch of memes to soothe your soul and get y'all week. Y'all's week started off right. We're going to have a great week on this channel. It's going to be fun. I'm already stacking up Wednesday and Friday. It's going to be good. Next. Uh, <laughs> there's the whole earth. 
Places where Donald Trump is president-elect of the United States. Get some. Yep, next. Uh, the NFL, Tristan says the NFL went very quickly from kneeling in disrespect to the flag and the, na and the nation to doing the Trump dance after touchdowns. Earth is healing. Yes, it is. I'm encouraged. Next. Uh, Ivan says, I made bread. <laughs> Rattle says, uh, no, no. That's Mike Tyson. What in the world is this? <laughs> Looks like Mike Tyson's butt. Next, the left. RFK Jr. is too anti-science. Also the left. Yeah, let's have, have that emoji. That's real. That's a real emoji. Next. Uh, <laughs> breaking. Robert De Niro and Bruce Springsteen say they are leaving the United States now that Donald Trump will be president. What's your reaction? Mm. Curly Bill Goat. Well. Bye. All right, if you haven't grabbed yours yet, the link is below to this one, the USA fist, the big fist bump, or the punch to the commies' faces. I love it. Link below, I think up to 6XL. Up next is your comment of the weekend. This goes to James Shannon, 9721. He said, your Trump imitation may be subpar. I've got the best imitation. No, I don't. But your Greta and Buffalo Bill are spot on. Your Randolph isn't fat either. What in the world is this? Thank you. I'll allow it. It's kind of fun. Yeah, my Trump. I actually, I practiced my Trump yesterday. It got worse. I swear it got worse. We got the worst. You're going to love this next one. Next, are you, this is from uh, DC Drano. Are you ready for the best news ever? There's a massive chance that this could be your new ATF director. His name is Brandon Herrera and the entire gun industry in America is begging for his appointment. I told, I told Mr. Guns and Gear and Guns and Gadgets last night, Jared and Mike, I said, and Anthony the Arm Scholar, we were in a little text thread. I said, don't get my hopes up. Don't. Oh, could it really happen? Could it happen? Oh, let it be. I'll allow it. Next. Uh, <laughs> to the B. In, entire entrenched government bureaucracy to be dismantled by Indian guy and autistic African-American obsessed with rockets. I'm going to leave that one alone. Next, uh, that's it. No more sex. I always say it wrong. It's not Gorgoth the Destroyer. What is it? Y'all tell me. Y'all know what it is, but that is, that is Gorgoth the Destroyer. Oh, I wish you a great big fat person. Yes. Fine, I'll say this. I lost my, lost my place on the memes. Here we go. I will say this. Somebody hit me the other day and they said, Johnny, you're a little hard on fat people. Not at all. The everything that I've done in the last six months with uh, a great big fat has been about them shoving that garbage down our face and saying that's healthy. I need to lose weight. I love Mexican food. It's not about fatness. It's about the lies of the left saying this is beauty, this is normal, this is acceptable, or this is a, actually a woman. That's the only pushback. Most of y'all get that, though. I love this next one. Next, uh, you've heard of Secretary of Defense. How would you like to be Secretary of Offense? <laughs> John Jones. <laughs> next, knock, knock, knock. When you're eating a midnight snack and you hear RFK Jr. at the door. Is that Beetlejuice? I think that's Beetlejuice. <laughs> what are you doing? Just hanging around. <laughs> Some of y'all know that meme. Next, Old Row official said this, and this is real. Old Row, this is a real article from the New York Times. I'm 16. On November 5th, the girls cried and the boys played Minecraft. Old Row official said, dudes rock. Once again, get some. <laughs> Dude's rock. Next. Bum, bum, bum. Busted. Busted, RFK. That face. That's so funny. Next. Hey, get in, loser. We're banning GMOs, vaccines, fluoride, 5G, and chemtrails. Come on. Let's do it. They ain't happy about that. The establishment hates that guy now. And he's been a part of the establishment for 70 years. Hmm. It's funny how that changes. Next. Dummy Photoshop says, RFK. Seed oils, food, dyes, and pesticides. Slappity tappity. What a dumb fight, by the way. What a waste of our Friday night. Next, Paul versus George Foreman. That's funny. I think that's a really good George Foreman uh, one on coming up on Wednesday that I'll allow. Next, this is real. They hate him. Lillian says, kill Donald Trump, kill his VP Vance, kill his cabinet picks. That is the only way to save the United States of America. That is the only way to save this nation. I lose if I stand by quietly. There is no victory condition for me if I stay quiet. I support the assassination of Trump. 
Frank Costanza just went off in my brain and just went, you want a piece of me? You got it. Heard it right there. Next. Uh, <laughs> I think this is the last one. This is the last one. I had fun today. I am in love with where we're at right now. This, for me, I remember in middle school uh, walking around with my jean jacket on in Boone's Creek, Tennessee, with an Ollie North for President button. I was plugged in back then. And I remember my schoolmates going, going, Johnny, who's Ollie North? And I had to explain to them the Iran Contras and Reagan and all of that stuff. And I have not been since that era of my life, maybe a little in high school when I was really into Rush Limbaugh and the uh, 92 presidential election. I was plugged in on that. This weekend, I feel rekindled. I feel rejuvenated. Him rock, walking in with a rock star. I'm freaking in, people. We're going to have a great week around here. America is back. Final meme of the day. Next. Uh, you get what you voted for starting January. They, they believe this crap. Starting January 20th, women will no longer be able to drive without a motor ve drive a motor vehicle without a driver's license. Car seat kid, go. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Back me up, go all in, by Joe Biden. I gotta win, save the country from sin. I won't never slack up, get your money back up. Try and cuss my voter and your bounty gets smacked up. Get up, stand up, throw your mega hats up. If you got the feeling, Kamala's unappealing. Trump's got this gun fits my hand better than this one does. Diabetes.